Got Good it. morning. Good. We've got it. There we are. Morning. Uh, now, uh, this is clearly Francis, not Hello. Garth. Indeed. Gar- Garth's otherwise engaged this morning. He is. Fancy having a life. It <laughs> shouldn't be allowed. Anyway, so I, I, I dragged... <laughs> I've dragged Francis in because I was didn't want to be Billy No Mates, um, so so we've done that. Also, uh, we're dog sitting or, or we're practice dog sitting. So if there are barking noises, um, I apologise, but there you go. <laughs> we are joined by Monty the dog this morning, possibly. Anyway, um, today we're going to be looking at Psalm thirty-two. Um, if you want to be continuing through the narrative of the Old Testament, we've we've done genesis uh we're now into exodus chapter seven starting at verse eight through to the end of that chapter and uh, also uh, we're going to be reading from hebrews francis will read from hebrews 11 verses 1 to 16 so let's enjoy um the space we're in let's just recognize where we are let's recognize god's presence with us as we come to prayer this morning Thank you for this day. So, O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O oh Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Let's say together the um, song of penitence. Have mercy on me, O oh God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. So that you are justified in your sentence, and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and might. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Brings us to Psalm 32. Happy the one whose transgression is forgiven and whose sin is covered. Happy the one to whom the Lord imputes no guilt and in whose spirit there is no guile. For I held my tongue My bones wasted away through my groaning all the day long. Your hand was heavy upon me day and night. My moisture was dried up like the drought in summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and my iniquity I did not hide. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all the faithful make their prayers to you in time of trouble. In the great water flood, it shall not reach them. You are a place for me to hide in. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Be not like horse and mule, which have no understanding, whose mouths must be held with bit and bridle, or else they will not stay near you. Great tribulations remain for the wicked, but mercy embraces those who trust in the Lord. Be glad, ye righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Shout for joy, all who are true of heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Amen. Reading this morning from Hebrews chapter 
11, beginning at the first verse. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Indeed, by faith our ancestors received approval. By faith we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. By faith, Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain's. Through this, he received approval as righteous, God himself giving approval to his gifts. He died, but through his faith he still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken so that he did not experience death, and he was not found, because God had taken him. For it was attested before he was taken away that he had pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. For whoever would approach him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. By faith, Noah, warned by God about events as yet unseen, respected the warning and built an ark to save his household. By this he con- condemned the world and became an heir to the righteous became an heir to the righteousness that is in accordance with faith. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to set out for a place that he was to receive as an inheritance, and he set out, not knowing where he was going. By faith, he stayed for a time in the land he had been promised, as in a foreign land, living in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked forward to the city that has foundations, whose architect and builder is God. By faith, he received power of procreation, and though he was too old, and Sarah herself was barren, because he considered him, because he considered him faithful, who had promised. Therefore, from one person, and this one as good as dead, descendants were born, as many as the stars of heaven, and as the innumerable grains of sand by the seashore. All of these died in faith without having received the promises, but from a distance they saw and greeted them. They confessed that they were strangers and foreigners on the earth, for people who speak in this way make it clear that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of the land that they had left behind, they would have had opportunity to return. But as it is, they desire a better country, that is a heavenly one. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God. Indeed, he has prepared a city for them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Perhaps we this morning can look at that call to to, to live by faith and to look to what God has for us, to desire that better thing that he has for us that God is preparing for us to you O Lord I lift up my soul O my God in you I trust you are the God of my salvation to you O Lord I lift up my soul in you I hope all the day long O oh my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh my God, in you I trust. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. 
in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Amen. As we look to historic characters of the past in the biblical narrative of, of their walking by faith with you, Lord, help us to walk by faith with you in our time and place. Help us to be a people that look to the promise, your promise. So Lord, be with us. Lord, guide us and strengthen us. Lord, when we falter, draw us back to yourself. That we may know your goodness. We may know your power to transform and to change. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, we offer to you all those who in this season have been exploring their faith mm. and have come to the point where they know that you are who they desire, that they want to be uh, with you, uh, that they desire, uh, as we read, the city that you're preparing for them, uh, that they, they know that there's a better homeland, mm. a better story to be told. Uh, and so we thank you especially for those who are due to be baptised or confirmed uh, in this coming Easter. Mm. We pray that you would be with them, uh, that you would assure them of their identity in you, uh, and that you would protect them from spiritual attack. Lord, in your mercy. Oh, hear our prayer. So Lord, we pray for those opportunities to, for others to join in that journey of discipleship. For those who are returning to, to faith, having perhaps been um, away from church or from uh, away from you for a, for a season. Lord, we pray for those you are drawing back to yourself in this time. Lord, we pray for those who have never known you that are simply reaching out. Lord, we pray for those opportunities to, to have many more that we can join along, that, join along with in that journey of coming to know you, deepening their faith in you. Lord, may you strengthen us as we do that. Uh, may we be encouraged, all of us in that same journey, a journey of being drawn to you. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those, uh, for all of us, uh, that we, we know that there are times that we let you down uh, and there's, there's stuff that we live with uh, for which we're ashamed uh, and so we seek your forgiveness we pray especially for those who um, find it hard um, to seek your forgiveness or from the forgiveness of others we pray that you would give to each of us a spirit of reconciliation lord in your mercy hear our prayer lord just thinking of those known to us who are suffering in body mind or spirit as well lord pray that you will um <laughs> excuse me lord we pray that um you will bring healing to those who are, are struggling with physical um problems who are struggling with um mental health problems and lord for us it's so easy to forget perhaps people who you've said you would pray for but then who slip out of your your thoughts so, Lord, just help us in this moment just to bring to mind those who, who we've been in touch with over, over the last weeks, months. Those who need to know your healing. Lord, help us to have, to be people of faith, that you may have 
uh, an environment in which to work where we expect you to work. Mm. So Lord, give us that expectation of, of you at work in power in the world. So lift those now to th those that perhaps you've brought to mind, bring, lift them to God now. Or perhaps be as the people who hacked through the roof of that building to bring their, their friend, their brother, their relative to, to, into the presence of Jesus. Come, Lord, come in your healing. Come, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, in your mercy. Hear yeah, our prayer. And so, Father, we pray with our diocese uh, into our vision, growing as kingdom people. And we pray that uh, as we approach Easter, for all uh, the leaders in our churches, both lay and ordained, that they would feel support in their role as they work to develop the discipleship of their congregations uh, and welcome new Christians. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, as we think of churches throughout the world, we pray today for the Diocese of Congo in South Sudan, Bishop Gabriel there. Lord, a, a nation that, that, that so often struggles as, as, as the world struggles with many things. They, they seem to be always at the, at the forefront of the struggles. So many challenges there with, with hunger, um, many challenges with civil war still. Challenges with people moving between nations at the boundaries. So, Lord, may you be with that diocese, with that bishop, Bishop Gabriel, as they seek to, to do your will, be your people in a challenging place. Oh, Lord, in your mercy. Hear yeah, our prayer. Lord, in, in a week where our collects has, has caused us, and as we pray today, causes us to look at our sinful nature. Lord, we offer you, offer to you uh, the challenges that we face and asking your forgiveness, but to also the, the, the challenges of our world. Huh. Lord, so many things in our world where it is hard to see how those problems can be resolved, how those the sinfulness of it can be reconciled. But you, Lord, are a merciful God, a powerful God who can bring transformation where we cannot even imagine it. So, Lord, we pray for that. We pray for that in Ukraine. We pray for that in the hearts and minds of those who are uh, promoting and, and sustaining the, um, the attack, um, the invasion from Russia. Lord, we pray for other nations in the world where nation is seeking to act against nation, where people group are seeking to act against another people group. Lord, may you bring your peace. May you bring your righteous judgment. O oh Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. So looking to you as a merciful God, Merciful Lord, absolve your people from their offences, that through your bountiful goodness we may all be delivered from the chains of those sins which be, by our frailty we have committed. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our blessed Lord and Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Thank you. Thank you for those that have joined us this morning. You nearly got a, a, a viewing of, uh, of Monty the dog, I think. <laughs> who is a he's a black lab so he wouldn't have shown yeah so he might not have shown up who knows? It, it was sort of a weird experience as your door was waving in the <laughs> i know it was even weirder from here i'm going <laughs> how's that what's going on we've had one of those weekends actually so um so our granddaughter was here on friday and now we've got a dog so we've, we've got <laughs> small <laughs> Random Just swapping out small things for other small things, or other small, strangely behaving things, absolutely yeah. that don't really aren't, yeah, aren't normally part of our life <laughs> on a regular basis. Yes, this is an experiment because our daughter's going on holiday, and when she goes on holiday, we're dog sitting. So this oh. is us. Uh, this is um, acclimatization for us and or the dog. <laughs> Probably a bit of both. A bit of both. We dog sit for another dog, but yes. um, anyway, but there you go. So and. Um, I, you know, so I, I don't know what you've got on today, Francis. I, we don't normally sleep. Be contact with, well, we do, but not normally at this time of the morning. No. <laughs> Usually in a mad panic at the end of the day. <laughs> Absolutely. Going, what have we forgotten? <laughs> no, I've got to go and dedicate, rededicate, rededicate the uh, the 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 war memorial in uh, oh, the, yes. outside St Stephen's. That's at twelve o'clock today. That won't take very long, but I, I need to. The uh, yeah, others that to do. It's a hundred years since that was um, dedicated the first time. Mm -hmm. yes so that's a 12 and I other than that it's the mad admin <laughs> yes that's exactly it that is the other panic making sure things are ready for tomorrow indeed yeah because the, over the entire nation are, are, are ruining the time when or go, how, looking back to the time when what you had to do was all the words you needed were in a book <laughs> and the congregation had got them in a book and the hymns would be chosen by somebody else who would play them on some sort of device and or a band would play them without you actually having to interfere. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas now we're living in currently still are living in a world where much of that has to be done by us or by yeah. somebody else. And by the time we've told somebody else, we might as well have done it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. Anyway. Good. Well, thank you for joining us, peeps, and I uh, hope you have a great and blessed day. And uh, we look forward to seeing some of you, we hope, tomorrow in, um, in at St. Stephen's at 9.30 or at other churches around. Well, you won't see us, but other people uh, at other churches no, around me, Redditch. I'll be, I'll be at Tardabig tomorrow. Oh, yes. So, so, people, so oh. People go to, if people go to Tardabig tomorrow, they'll see me. Yeah, don't go at 9.30, though. Don't go at 9.30, though. That's 11. No, you're at 11. So no, I'd forgotten about that. You're a time. Yes, you're I need to remember that so I don't go as well. We don't <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be somewhat overstaffed if we <laughs> so it's unnecessary. So so no, Francis is at yes, at Tarn de Big at eleven. I'm at St. Stephen's at 9 30. Yeah. Uh, uh, other people will be at other places around church, around around Redditch. So yeah. you check that out. Um good. Have a great day and uh, we look forward to seeing you some more. All the best. <laughs>